this this lecture we we discussed about the unsteady state problems so in this unsteady state problems unsteady state problem flow near a wall suddenly set in motion so first one is flow near a flow near a wall suddenly set in motion so this is a example problem in the board example is 4.1.1 in the page number of 115 So in this problem we will consider this is unsteady state. In this unsteady state phenomena we need to discuss about the how the velocity profile changes with respect to the time. So consider a uh, consider a wall. Actually this is a wall, and this is the radial direction, y direction, and this is the x direction. So here you will consider three conditions: t less than zero, t greater than zero. T less than zero means uh this is not indicates that uh, time is less than zero here the flow is not started flow is not started flow is at rest flow is at rest so this will indicate flow is at rest and t greater than zero there t wall set in motion first point t equal zero t wall is set in motion t equal to zero and t greater than is zero so it, this is called unsteady state motion This is called unsteady state motion. So these are all the conditions they give in the problem. So in this in this problem they they said that the semi infinite body of a liquid constant rho on mu semi infinite body and liquid constant rho on mu is a horizontal surface. Horizontal surface. So horizontal surface. X comma jet plane. X comma jet plane. Then t less than zero, fluid accelerates to t equal zero x direction and triggers an unsteady state in motion. So finally, find the velocity. They ask about the find the velocity v x as a function of y and t. So here the considerations is no pressure gradient first point, and second is uh, gravitational force is constant, uh, so negligible by because it is in x direction only. So finally, and again, flow assume it to be linear. Assume to be linear. So what we will do is here we will apply the equation of motion. We will apply the equation of motion, then applying the boundary conditions, then the conversion of that uh, equation which we get from the equation of motion into dimensionless form. Then after dimensionless form integration, then we finally get the result. This is the blueprint to the to solve these problems. So let us consider the equation of motion, a non-Newtonian fluid. So we will write the equation of motion for a non-Newtonian fluid as earlier we discussed so many times. A Newtonian fluid, rho into rho v x by dot u plus v x into dot v x by dot x plus v y into dot v x by dot y plus v z into dot v x by dot z equal to minus dot p by dot x plus mu into Do square v x by do x square plus do square v x by do y square plus do square v x by do z square plus rho into g x. Here we know that gravitational forces are there cancel, and here the velocity in x v by v y is not there equal to zero, and v z also is not there zero. So we will cancel the terms v y terms and v z terms, and then. Pressure is constant. We already stated that, and v x is not there. Mm, then v x with respect to x is not there. V x with respect to jl z also not there. So here you, you will consider a wall. Actually, the flow is in the in this direction, x direction. So flow uh, flowing in the x direction. We will consider a particular intervals. How the flow is uh, varying with respect to time, varying with respect to direction. We will consider as y. So always here the flow v x is Changing with respect to y, not with respect to x. So v x by x is zero. So this is the thing we need to consider. So finally v z equal to zero. Then we apply after this. Then finally we got uh, rho into dot v x by dot t. So this all will be zero. Dot x by dot t equal to mu into dot square v x by dot y square. So this we can write as dot x by dot t equal to kinematic viscosity mu into dot square v x by dot y square. Here v equal to mu by 
So let us come into the boundary conditions, initial conditions. First one is at t equal to zero, and second one is t less than zero. T less than zero. So in these conditions, first first one is y equal to zero. Y equal to zero means if you consider this, y equal to zero means it will be there. And x is y. Y equal to zero. This will be at the point of origin where v is v naught. So this is v naught. And y equal to delta. This is somewhere here. Y equal to delta somewhere. So here the v x equal to zero. The velocity at that boundary will be zero. At the some uh, the the distance is the delta. So we will consider that at rest or wall. So rest wall. So all the time. So these are the conditions. Y equal to zero v naught. Uh, v equal v x equal to v naught and uh, y equal to delta v x equal to v zero. So then finally we will we got this equation do v x by do t equal to v into do square v x by do v square. See here we we are, we are doing a simple uh, manipulation regarding the dimensionless form. So here v x is there we are multiplying and dividing by v x to get dimension form and uh, T also same thing. So v not into do v x by v x naught, and at the same time with the do t by t, same v into do square v x by v not by do v square. So then finally what we get this t will be go there v t by v t by v square. So, so then finally uh, do v x by v not by do t by t. Equal to v t by y square. Here also y square will be there. Y square into do square v x by v naught by do y square by y square. Here we will consider this as phi, and then this as t and this as phi, and this is phi. So phi equal to v x by v naught. So phi equal to v x by v naught. Then finally, what we'll get is do phi by do theta equal to v theta by y square into do square phi by do y square. This is the we got the dimension form. So again, I will just do phi by do d equal to v theta by y square into do square phi by do y square. Consider eta equal to y by v t. This is uh, indicating of dimensionless variable. So y square by v t. Then what will happen? Uh, y uh, then what will happen? It is eta square. Then eta equal to y by square root of v t. So phi equal to phi of eta. We get the function. So that implies phi equal to phi of y by square root of four v t. So now the goal. Now the game will start here. You need to consider do phi by do t value. At the same time, v into uh, do square do square phi by do y square. You need to consider both these values. Do square by do 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 square phi by do eta square values. These four values you need to consider. So this is the first previous equation which we get before the dimensionless analysis. So we will consider do phi by do t value. So first one is do phi by do t. In this do phi by do t, you can write, you will write this do phi by do n into do eta by do t. So here do phi by do t do n eta uh, will be there and d n eta by d t. So do phi by do n eta into d with respect to t. Then what we'll do? Four into we here um, for simplification purpose for uh, dimensionless purpose actually they took four v t. Four, for simplification purpose. Then, if you take four, then what will happen? Four v into square root of t. Square root of t do by do t means uh, this is one by two. Actually, here is minus one by two. Here is minus one by two. So the minus one by two into t power minus one by two minus one. So minus one by two into t power minus three by two. So finally, minus one by two into t power minus three by. So okay, so do phi by do eta equal to y by square root of four v into uh, instead of y we can substitute the value eta into four y t. We are doing here cross multiplication into minus one by two into t power minus three by two. So four v four v will cancel. 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋನಿ ಟೈ ಈಗಲ್ಲು ಇ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇ ಹಾಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ಲೌಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೂಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಸೊ ಫೈನಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ನೀಟ ಇಂಟು ಡಬಲ್ ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ಡೋ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಈಟ ಇಂಟು ಡೋ ಈಟ ಬೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ಸೊ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋಟ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೋ ಈಟ ಬೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ವೈ ವೈ ವಿ ಇಂಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ವೈ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೀಟ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಟಿ ಸೊ ಯು ನೀಟ್ ಡೋ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಸಾರಿ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ನೀಟ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ನೀಟ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಡಿ ಬೋತ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗನ್ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಇಂಟು ಡೋ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡೋ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಟಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಈಟಾ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಡೋ ನೀಟಾ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಡೋ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡೋ ನೀಟಾ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಟೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಡಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡಿ ನೀಟಾ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ನೀಟಾ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಫೈ ಬೈ ಡಿ ವೈ ಡಿ ನೀಟಾ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಡಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಜನರಲ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಡಿ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ದಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಡಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಡಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಇ ಪವರ್ ಜೀರೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಇ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಚೆಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ದ ಬೌಂಡ್ರಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಗಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬೌಂಡ್ರಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಟಾ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಟಾ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ದೆನ್ ವೈ ಬೈ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ವೈ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ವೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ವೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ದೆನ್ ಫೈ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ರಿ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಈಟಾ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಫಿನ್ಟ್ರಿ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಅಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಆರ್ ಫೈ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ
so we this is the relationship are they asked actually here this is the integration formula then after they will call for error, error function there some simplification will be there that is highly complex to to get it so finally you can remember this equation vx of uh, y comma t 1 minus error function y by square root of 4 v2 so finally you will get the vx by v2 y by square root of 4 v2 graph so this e, error f is called error function complementary error function e, uh, error f is called complementary error function so thank you thanks for watching this video